Hey folks, it's me again with another one of my videos. And the reason why I made this video is because I just upgraded my Verizon Note 4 to the Lollipop um, OS. And I, it came with some issues. Google Play services kept popping up errors stating that uh, yeah, it needs to be updated. But when I clicked update, it, it, it froze or... It, it, it didn't allow me to get into my Gmail app because it, it would say Google Play services not responding. Uh, my keyboard was very laggy. The phone was acting sluggish. So different issues in that sort. And what I did to fix that was to go to settings, scroll down to application, and then application manager. And then... Uh, let me scroll over to all and let that load up. And if from here, what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down to uh, Google Play Services. tapped it. Um, notice that I don't have a button there that normally will say uh, uninstall updates just like it says here. Just like it says there. It's because I've already done it. But uh, you notice that this is an older version. It's a factory version. So if you're here if you look on your phone versus what I have here, uh, yours should, will probably say 7.0.9.9 uh, or something like that. And this is an old version here. So what you're going to do is tap on uninstall updates. And it's going to let you know that you're going to disable Google Play services. You click OK. And then it's going to mention about the factory uh, version. You click OK for that. You're not losing data. It's just reverting it back to an older version, which would be this one. Um, so after you do that, uh, Google Play service will be disabled. And right now I have mine enabled. So yours will, will say enable. You just tap that to make it, to, uh, to re-enable it. Then yours will look just like this. After you get to this point, uh, what you want to do is uh, go ahead and uh, go to the uh, Play Store. And then once you're in the Play Store, just uh, type in your Gmail because it, it doesn't know uh, your Gmail account right now. So you're going to type in your Gmail and then click Next. After you type Next, you type in your password and click Next, and then you're in the Play Store. Now, uh, Google Play services may pop up automatically stating that it needs to be updated. Uh, chances are it won't. So what I did is just did a Google search for Google Play services and uh, it started from there. So you click OK and it, you can go right into the Play Store right, right, from the, right from this search and then you can click update and then it will go ahead and update the Google Play services. Now it takes a few, it may take a bit to install. After you do that, you can go into your Gmail, type in your Gmail address, click next, type in your password, click next, and any other Google apps that require your Gmail. Just go ahead and type in your Gmail email address and then the uh, password, click next, go through, and then that should do it. After doing that, just reboot your phone just for safe measures and then... Uh, after it comes up, you'll notice your phone should be running properly. And that's all uh, you have to do to resolve the issue. Um, but I do thank you for watching my video. And, uh, of course, as always, as I always state, be on the lookout for more of my videos. And if you do uh, like this video, please click like and also subscribe. I would truly appreciate that. And thanks for watching.